today we're starting to learn a new type of uh, a stochastic process. It's called the Poisson process. Um, originally, uh, let's recall for a Markov chain. Um, what we have is the time is a discrete. So n takes a discrete value like a 0, 1, 2. And the state space is either countable or finite. So it's discrete as well. And today, uh, we'll learn a new type of uh, process. It's called a counting process. Um, this process has a continuous, it's a time input. So T is time. And it, it's a continuous variable. Uh, while n of t itself, it's uh, it takes a uh, discrete value. Which represents the number of events happened during time t. And the uh, uh, Poisson process is uh, one of uh, one type of uh, counting process. And before we move on, uh, let's first review something a little bit. So we want to review uh, exponential distribution. And exponential distribution is related to uh, what well, we're going to learn this Poisson process. And let's recall that. Uh, if x, this random variable, is of uh, exponential distribution with a parameter lambda, or say rate lambda, so lambda is a parameter, um, and we also call it a rate then uh, the PDF of capital X is the lambda times e to the minus lambda x's power uh, when x is greater than or equal to zero, and uh, it's zero when x is less than zero. And then what we're going to review is a famous property of uh, is exponential distribution. It is a memoryless property. It's in a way uh, very similar to uh, what we have learned about uh, this uh, Markov Markovian uh, property. That is, uh, the memoryless property is the conditional probability of x is greater than um, s plus t, given x is greater than t, is the same as the probability of x is greater than s, where this s is a difference between uh, s plus t and s uh, is greater than t. Okay, and now let's prove it. Um, to show this, it's quite straightforward. We just apply the uh, conditional probability definition. So the left side is nothing but a fraction. That is x 
is greater than um, s plus t and uh, x is greater than t divided by uh, the probability of x is greater than t. And now let's uh, look at the top. This event, which is uh, x is greater than s plus t, if we notice um, the, the numerator, uh, if so if x is greater than s plus t, then x is sure uh, greater than t. Okay, and this is given uh, for s and t, s is greater than or than 0, and t is greater than 0, let's say. Um, as a result, um, the top is nothing but um, just x is greater than s plus t. And now we just apply um, the exponential distribution formula, uh, which is, uh, and we convert this probability to uh, 1 minus x is uh, less than s plus t, and the bottom is 1 minus uh, x is less than or equal to t, uh, which is, uh, we compute the integral of uh, from 0 to s plus t and this uh, lambda e to the minus lambda x dx subtract 1 minus 0 to t lambda e to the minus uh, lambda x dx. And if we compute it, uh, we'll see that this is nothing but um, e to the minus lambda times s plus t divided by e to the minus lambda t. And uh, this is simply e to the minus lambda s power.